Hey, this is Jeffrey Paul Ross for NextLevelGuitar.com. Uh, today we're going to work on a country rhythm with uh, interspersed uh, walking bass lines. And uh, this is kind of a fast country two beat. And we're going to be in the key of C. So, oh, uh, before I forget, uh, if you would like a free video lesson with a corresponding ebook that's not on YouTube, all you have to do is just click on this link that's in the YouTube text box below this video and we'll send you all this stuff for free. Yes, it's totally free with no strings attached from nextlevelguitar.com. Let's get started here. So we're going to be down here in what they call first position. Uh, I'm sure you all know the C chord. So here is our first position C chord. start with a little bass walk up lead in so we'll get that far and so you, you want to hold that chord there or at least hold your first finger here on the C note on the B string on the first fret so we're gonna we're gonna come down here with our third finger on the third fret on the low E string which is a G note an A, uh, a B note on the A string on the second fret with your second finger. Now the next thing you're going to strum the, the entire C chord. So, and you're going to strum the chord. Yeah, it looks like. I actually hit the C note on the A string first, then I strum the chord. Okay, so. And then, I, then I take my third finger off and put it down on the, the, uh, the G note on the low E string on the third fret. I hit the chord again. Back to the C note, and the chord again. So now the next thing I'm gonna do, okay. Okay, after I that last time I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit that note twice. going to start a bass walk down to A. So we're going to hit that C note twice. And we're just going to walk down chromatically to the open A. And we're going to... I'm, I make my A chord like this. Uh, it's just a, a, a straight bar with my first finger on the second fret on the D string, G, and B. And once again, I'm gonna hit the chord, I'm, I'm gonna hit the low note, hit the chord, then I'm gonna hit the open E, then the chord, then, then the open A, so. So. Okay, so let me let me play it up to there. Okay, now the next pattern. You hit that low note twice now, the open A twice. And that's whole steps. First uh, second fret, first finger. Uh, fourth fret, third finger, all on the A string. Then just move your third finger up one to that D note. So. Now there's there's different ways you can do it depending on what kind of sound you want. Okay, so. I like to do that because 
because I can I can walk down to that G from so let's let's try it that way. So So that walk up uh, two notes on the open A. Now we're going into this D7 chord here, which is just like a C7, only a whole step up. The cool thing about this chord is you can hit that open E. It gives it kind of a real, uh, like Merle Travis, Chet Atkins. That kind of sound. But we won't worry about that, so. Now with this, we're going to make this chord and we're going to go... You see, I'm lifting my third finger off of this note on the A string, and I'm going right below it on the E string on the fifth fret, but I'm holding that chord. And for some of you, that may take some practice. I know when I first started moving that finger inside of chords like that, it was difficult for me. And if it's hard for you, I would maybe just sit there for a few minutes. Get used to going back and forth like that. Okay, so, and once again, it's the same pattern. Remember, we have a then, and we're going to hit that, that D note twice, so. us into the next pattern and that will be I think that would be the easiest way so now put your third finger back up on that A note on the low E string on the fifth fret so we're gonna hit that note twice remember chromatically. Third finger, second finger, slide the second finger down to that, that low G note on the low E string. See, that'll put you right in line to, to make that G chord. string on the second fret with my second finger and I'm just going down I'm hitting the, the low the, the low string chord A string chord open D string chord now you can do it like that you can use you can use your fingers on the upstroke to alternating the chord with the bass notes. So, now you don't have to use your fingers, you can uh, bounce back and forth with your pick. us back into the G, uh, into the C, I'm sorry. So that'd be open A, second finger on the second fret on the A string, and third finger 
on the G string on the third fret on the A string. So. Uh, So to end this uh, little pattern, we're going gonna... to do this old uh, bluegrass flat picking. Like and we've got third finger on the C note on the A string on the third fret. And this open, open D string, first finger, first fret, second finger, second fret. Now, those three notes, I'm only picking once, so you hit that first C note, the open D, first fret, second fret, that's all one, one pick. We're now, now moving down to the G string, open G, second finger, second fret, open again, and now we're going to hit that C note on the B string on the first fret. start out very slowly make sure you get all the notes and you hit all the notes clean before you try to move up to speed and uh, I do recommend practicing with a metronome to do that uh, be patient with it don't try to run ahead of yourself or, or else you, you know you, you tend to be sloppy when you do that so, so we'll work up to like a fast country to be there you go so once again this has been jeffrey paul ross for nextlevelguitar.com reminding you once again that we do have over 850 examples of just about every kind of guitar playing you can think of and we start you off at the beginning level uh, through intermediate on up through advanced so we'll see you next time